In this video, I want us to discuss about online virtual teaching and learning. So what is online or virtual teaching and learning? Online or virtual teaching and learning is a broad, broad term that includes the practices of online education, distance learning, e-learning, or digital learning. Online learning or virtual learning can also refer to an environment where students study a digital-based curriculum taught by instructors that lecture online via video or an audio. This instruction can take place either in a self-paced, asynchronous environment or in a real-time or synchronous environment. Regardless of the terminology that is used, online learning or virtual learning is enabled by web technology that helps teachers and learners who are geographically distributed to interact with each other, that is, synchronously at the same time, and or asynchronously that is at different times. Educators and designers have developed ways to address these challenges, such as COVID-19 pandemic, putting information into modules, fostering teacher presence, creating adaptive feedback, and other strategies. Online learning or virtual learning has its own unique conventions and best practices that require time and con conscious effort to integrate into own teaching practices. Migrating from face-to-face -to, -face to online teaching can be described as a process of acculturation where teachers and learners gradually become familiar with new ways of teaching and learning. Teachers need to discover whether virtual learning is right for them by considering its types, qualities, pros and cons. Why choose online or virtual learning? Uh, in this slide, I want to give reasons why we may have to choose online or virtual learning. One is the challenges that we always face. Remember, in 2020, we had COVID-19 pandemic, which disrupted classes, and we had to resort to teaching online. Number two, the flexibility of virtual learning makes it an appropriate choice for full-time workers who would like to continue their education or cannot attend face-to-face -face classes. Three, the virtual learning environment is also a good choice for people who enjoy self-learning. Number four, learners learn at their own pace. Five, it gives learners a lot of autonomy with the intensity and overall cadence of learning while still enjoying the benefits of guided lessons. Six, it gives learners an opportunity to explore a subject or skill without committing to face-to-face -face classes. Virtual learning is online, which means it's often convenient, flexible, and affordable. And finally, virtual learning is also a very environmentally friendly learning option, since students aren't required to commute for class and there are very little paper waste throughout the semester. Now, 
I want us to look at the three types of online virtual learning. These are one, synchronous learning. Synchronous virtual learning typically asks students to attend online live stream lectures. The instructor streams their presentations or the lecture, allowing students to ask questions in real time via a webcam, a microphone, or a live chat for a more hands-on learning experience. Synchronous forms of online learning typically involve live communication such as webinars, video conference, or chat. That is the first type of online virtual learning. Number two is what we call asynchronous teaching and learning. Asynchronous virtual learning features pre-recorded lectures that students can watch on their own time. The instructor will post either a video or an audio file along with lecture notes. Often, there will be a quiz on the material to ensure students are watching lectures and up to date with the class schedule. They, are all, they also upload journal articles, case studies, assignments, cuts, or quizzes. Asynchronous forms of online learning usually involve the use of emails, discussion forums, learning management systems, LMS. Typically, the instructor or an assistant is available via email or a text chat. And finally, students usually have some form of communication with each other, such as a forum where they can discuss the materials and flesh out details they may have not gathered from the lecture. And finally, the third uh, teaching is what is referred to as the hybrid or the blended teaching and learning. A hybrid or blended teaching course will make use of both virtual and face-to-face -face or in-person classes. This is the most common for classes that also require a lab component. Students who want freedom to learn at the best times, but also want some structured lessons and communication with the instructor, consider enrolling in this hybrid or blended teaching and learning. And that marks the end of our presentation where we've been discussing about online or virtual teaching and learning. If you have, if you have any issues, you are free to contact us at Chalan Academy. And if you, you like my video, you can subscribe or like or even share with your friends. Thank you.